in your gas. Yeah, 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 my. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen the other parts of this trip, the links will be in the description. Hey y'all, so today, today is day three. So this is my final day and then I'll leave tomorrow. But when I tell you, <laughs> last night was a very interesting because remember I said that I met this guy at the beach. This white guy, right? Why I feel like I shouldn't be dating men, period, because y'all weird. Okay, so this will be a quick story time and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Um so met him at the beach, you know, cool dude. I saw a lot of red flags and shit, but I was like, you know what, I'm on vacation. Let's talk whatever we when i said we clicked we clicked we were cool um he as i said he invited me to dinner he made reservation to this restaurant and we went you know look cute all that uh, y'all gonna see pictures and videos and all that look cute you know look sexy all of that go when i went there was there he was well i was late because i ended up walking um the wrong direction so i ended up late or whatever but when there he ended up buying two bottles of wine mind you you have to pay extra for in this restaurant you have to pay extra for the wine so he bought two bottles of wine for me because it's my birthday whatever he was trying to make my birthday special, all of that stuff. He was doing the most, mind you, white Canadian, right? So we was there and we, you know, it was a nice vibe and all. And I know myself, like I know when to stop and when, you know, not to, but I was good. I was feeling good. I wasn't drunk, I wasn't deep, I was, I was just nice. So we ended up, when we finished dinner, we ended up, there was a live show, so we went there and do that all the time. You know, it was holding my hand. You don't think that we are a couple at this point. What did I say? Like, we're on vacation. I don't know this one from Adams. Just meeting me here, it's like, you know what? So we go to the event thing, and we were just there vibing. Uh, so I said that I want some water. I want bottled water. I don't want the water here because y'all know I'm old. We just want their water. So I said I don't want their water. So he went and left. I don't know where he went and bought two bottles of water. I brought it for me and brought me a small martini thing, right? And a chocolate bar. So it's like, okay. So we were there vibing and he's like, okay, when that show was over, it was like, oh, what else you want to do? We should do something else. I want you to enjoy your birthday. So I was like, okay, hold my head. That was concierge. That was concierge. I thought someone else, they called me, asking me if everything is working okay. Yeah, everything is working okay. So we, he was like, what else I want to do? What else I wanna do? So it's like, okay, he is with his, res uh, okay, with his hotel area, cause we're on different sides of the hotel. This is a big resort. Um, so I'm on the other side, he's on the other side. He's like, oh, you can come over to my suite cause I have a swim out, blah, blah, blah. We can chill, da, da, da. So I was like, okay, fine. Walk me to my room, you know, going to change to whatever, to, you know, that was a bad idea. I should have never let this man come in my suite. Anyway, so we were talking and whatever, and it was like, oh, you know, this is this is me. Like I haven't been intimate in a while, so I was like, me, I'm I'm not. We're not doing that because I haven't done this, and it's for a reason I don't want to. So I, then I was like. Because I know with some men, once you ask about test results or whatever, they freak the fuck out. 
freak the fuck out. So that's exactly what he did. Like I said, okay, let me ask you this. When last he was this thing? When I tell you that my guy get mad defensive, oh, oh, you, you ask me this like I'm dirty. You think I'm dirty? I'm like, sir, <laughs> it's a simple question. How um, you got tested before? When was the last time you got tested? Relationship for 10 years, and then I was in a relationship with an ex-girl for two years, and they were good, da, da, da. I was just like, sir, not because they're good don't mean you are. <laughs> Who would you tell me if you said that? My you got mad, got so mad, and I was like, you know what? Let's just call this a night. Get you can leave. You you can leave. He got up, man, and wanna slam my door. I'm like, okay. I was like, it might not seem okay for you. It's okay for me, but now I come from no resort. I know it was a someone probably three, four years ago, maybe. This is a healed version of myself, and any decision I decide to make, I'm gonna make sure it's good for me mentally, emotionally, and physically. Bitch, I'm sorry, but bitch, you got defensive over one question. That means you're guilty as fuck. You mean you're dirty. That means you're really dirty. Because how you get offensive to that? And then I ask, okay, so how one go about getting these results? I'm like, sir, you can show me on your phone. He's like, oh, I'm from Canada. We do it a lot different. Like I'm fucking stupid. Like I'm dumb. Like I was born yesterday. Bitch, try it on other people on this fucking resort. Don't try me. Don't do that last night. He doesn't mind because after he left, I took my clothes off, you know, lie down and just fell asleep. I slept like a baby last night. Like I slept so good last night. And today is my, as I said, my last day and I'm enjoying it. I should have already been up because I wanted to get up and see the sunrise. But I might do that tomorrow before I leave. I'm gonna make sure I wake up early, 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 early. Cause they come in to pick me up at 8.45 tomorrow. So I have to make sure that I'm up early, early, early so I can see the sunrise. And um, I might try later to see the sunset and take some picture and whatever. But yeah, I'm enjoying every moment that I have here. I'm about to go and have breakfast. Well, it's probably brunch, no. I'm gonna have breakfast and just chill and I'm going to go by the pool or the, the beach or something and start editing some videos. I know I'm on vacation and I shouldn't be, but I feel like I have so much stuff that I want to put out there. I'm going to do it today. So yeah, I'm going to brunch, brunch, lunch, whatever, um, at the, the buffet and yeah. Let me tell you, sir, listen, I'm, I'm having the time of my life, and I'm glad that I made it to the trip. I'm glad I'm having the time of my life, and it's going to be sucky when I go back home, but I'm just enjoying this, and it's my last night I'm in, going to enjoy it. So, see you later. So on this day, I found out that there was a section that you can make your own omelet and stuff. So I did that after I ate, I went to the pool and chill by the poolside for a little bit. And then I saw these creatures. They're called the Mexican raccoons. They're literally all over the resort. I forgot the actual name of them, but yeah, they're all over the resort and they came so close to me. They said that they're vicious, I don't know, but they came so close to me and they seem peaceful, but I don't know. So.
so i went to the beach after sitting at the pool for a little bit and the ocean was so nice that day and i enjoyed every moment on the beach it was pretty decent that day and guess who i saw walking on the beach that same guy that i was talking about but i just pretended like, like i didn't see him but yeah that was awkward So after I went to the beach, I went back to my suite and I was chilling there for a little bit and then I came down to get some lunch. And this is what I had for lunch and then I realized that they had seafood and if y'all know me, I love me some seafood and love me some crabs. I had that and then I had some dessert. Boy, I tell you, when I said I was stuffed, I was stuffed. This was me going through like some of my videos and pictures and stuff and just like you know looking back on some of the things that i did and just taking in the moment because i was kind of sad that i have to leave if you can see by my face like i was so sad but yeah and when i tell you i was drinking i was drinking i think i was drinking a margarita plus a glass of wine plus I had a shot so I was yeah I was getting it down and enjoying my last day <laughs> After I ate lunch, I decided to take a walk to the beach, but I didn't make a video on the beach. I was just chilling on the beach and just relaxing, and then I saw this big ass iguana. This was when I was getting ready for dinner, and I decided to start packing a little bit so it would be easier for me to you know get ready in the morning so this is me packing and as you see in my video like i was super bloated like i was drinking and eating whatever i wanted and i was bloated as you can see so yeah i definitely was enjoying every moment in mexico this was the morning that i have to leave i waked up early before the sunrise and i walked to the beach by myself which was scary because it was so dark
Yo, this shit is so scary. I am on the beach. I decided to come to see the sunset. It's, well, the sunrise. And it's so dark as fuck. I'm hearing all these features in the background. And I'm here. It's just me. It's wild. The, the things I do for peace of mind. So, yeah. I'm brave as shit. Look at the moon. Y'all see the moon at the back? No, oh, thank you. That's it. So, it's about that time. It's about that time. So, this is the last day. Um, I'm leaving soon. My transportation picks me up at 8.45. Because my flight is at um, 11. But because they're doing construction close by the the airport they suggest that they pick me up early so that there's no delay on me catching my flight so and yeah my I'm a, I'm up to another video talking about my transportation I thought just talking about my trip but so far like I'm very glad and grateful that I was able to do this because when I tell you like in September, September was one of my best month because I was thinking about canceling it because I was sick for a couple of weeks and I was, you know, low on funds and all. And I was like, you know what, I'm still paying for it and it's going to be very difficult to try to like um, cancel it. So I just go ahead with it. I'm, can I afford it at this point in time? No, but I just feel like I owe it to myself and I need it. And I feel like the money will come back, like, regardless, because trust me, when I say everything works out for me, this girl is so blessed and so lucky. And listen, abundance always reach my way. So I'm grateful that I was able to do this trip because God knows me no say me didn't need it. And it's, it, the crazy part about it is that I'm, I know that I'm here, but it's like, I feel like I'm not here. It's so surreal. And I don't know. I was able to meet a lot of people, a lot of people from different places, you know, had some very interesting experience. But overall, this resort and everything was great, you know, was great. and. I definitely would, would recommend this place. Um, I mean, everybody have their own opinion on certain things and what might work for me not work for somebody else. But I can, I would say, I would definitely recommend y'all checking this place. So it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, now I gotta go get ready to leave, and I'm so sad. But I am glad that. I got this refresher because I definitely needed it. <sighs> if y'all have any questions, please, 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 please. And I have so much editing to do. I have so many ed edits to do, like it's not even funny. So I might, yeah, I got some work to do when I get home. I try to edit my birthday shoot video and uh, yeah. That's posting today because today is October 31st. Yeah, 
it's Halloween. So I am, my flight's supposed to reach back in Maryland around four o'clock. Because the time difference, it could, it, it's, it's actually, would say three, but the flight difference is it, four o'clock. The, not the flight difference, the time difference. So that's why. But anyways, let me stop talking. Mini for good on the lobby if you got your coat and yeah. Oh, there's more. 